Good morning, friends and fellow traders. Hey, this is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for February 14th, 2019. It's Valentine's Day out there, everyone. Don't forget your Valentine. So, hey, let's take a look at what's going on here. And right now, the <laughs> I got to admit, the bulls are feeling very, very loving this morning. Um, <laughs> no... Uh, just no um, concern about uh, trade negotiations whatsoever. Um, just what I would what I would actually term as hyper confidence um, that there there's going to be really good results. And I find that just a bit puzzling. And honestly, I'm a little bit nervous about um, how we're pricing the market right now um, with this really um, amazing confidence that something good is going to happen from the trade negotiations. Now, I hope they're right. Um, as a matter of fact, if they are not right, um, this could stumble in a very big way. The market is, is pricing uh, things very, very high in anticipation of good results. And yet, um, reportedly, the president is considering um, extending the deadline for 60 days, um, which would suggest to me, which, uh, as he's being briefed on the negotiations, that it's going to take much longer to come to some kind of a deal. Um, so kind of interesting to me that we're, we're showing so much bullishness um, ahead of that. Now, those neg negotiations are expected to run all the way through Friday, so we may not hear anything um, until, well, maybe later tomorrow or um, even into the weekend, how um, the progress on those negotiations went. So interesting, but right now the market is showing extreme bullishness, um, looking at a gap up of more than 100 points or right at 100 points this morning, gapping up and recovering. We had a little bit of sell off yesterday after that bullishness yesterday. Um, it looks like we're going to gap up right about to uh, yesterday's high in the Dow. And let's take a look. We do have a, a good support pattern here. There's nothing wrong with the, these charts. Um, I, I, I admittedly, I could be absolutely wrong here um, with my nervousness, but um, I, I, I am going to be really, really cautious about adding new long trades. I think we're kind of becoming priced to perfection here. And any kind of stumble, um, something in the news, uh, could really um, switch this market uh, very quickly. And, and of course, that could happen in an overnight session where you don't have any control of it. So be really, really careful about not getting overextended or buying heavily so late into the rally. Let's take a look right here. You can see we had a nice hold of the support. Bulls picking up right off of there. Um, that all looks well and good. Breaking that downtrend, that's exactly what we want to see. And now we have to worry about these resistance levels up here as we start push or continue to push up toward those looking at our moving averages we're above that 200 day moving average so once again it's the price action that um, could run us into some resistance as we move up uh, another thing is apparently u.s markets have absolutely no concern whatsoever about global uh, slowdown um, in play. Uh, kind of interesting. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY also rallying up nicely, holding on to its downtrend. Everything looking really, really good here. And as you can see, gapping up this morning, about to right very, very close to where we opened yesterday, popping up uh, to that um, upper level. And you can see that next resistance level that I've marked right in here. That's going to be the place we're going, going to have to watch carefully, a triple top up there. And what was interesting yesterday is we were uh, being challenged um, on Wednesday by that 200 day moving average, but we popped above that yesterday, left a little doji pattern here, a little um, indecisive day, and now um, it looks like the bulls want to push through that. So um, very interesting price action uh, to be sure, and just extreme confidence in the market. Let's take a look at uh, the queues. Q's not so not so um, happy about things yesterday, but now this morning, Q's are looking at gapping up and recovering some of that yesterday. Um, nothing wrong here in this chart. Just a little bit of a well, a little bit of a uh, indecisive day, I guess I would 
I would call that. And now we'll have to watch these resistance levels right up in here and uh, probably the stronger one, something up in here. So we'll watch those resistance levels as we push up toward those um, high prints. Remember to be very, very careful with gaps, just like we saw yesterday and we've seen earlier this week. We can gap up and then um, see buyers not support that gap. Um, no buying coming in, um, then we start seeing some selling. So watch that gap up this morning and be careful not to chase it. Let's take a look at IWM. IWM also holding up really, really well yesterday and just really not giving up anything at all. And IWM showing uh, probably the best um, bullish pattern of all the indexes right now. But we are uh, moving up here toward this resistance and we'll have to watch that pretty closely because that is uh, between here and here, fairly significant level of price resistance that we'll want to pay attention to. And if we look at the moving averages, we're moving up toward that 200 day, just kind of that natural resistance area in the market. Let's take a look at the VIX. VIX. I thought it was interesting yesterday with with the market, um, actually the last two days, with the market showing such bullishness um, that the VIX is is not showing um, any more pullback. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, showing a little bit of concern here. Um, it's very subtle uh, for sure in this, but we're not seeing that fear of the market diminish as much as I think we should, um, seeing the market um, racing higher the way we are. So that's uh, another reason for caution to just kind of keep an eye on that VIX. What we want to see is we want to see that VIX really start to drift lower here, um, having that fear come out of the market. But it's interesting to see the VIX rallying uh, or having any kind of rally going on here when the market is just uh, solidly bullish and does not want to retreat um, even a even a tiny bit. So kind of keep an eye on that. If fear starts creeping in here, that could be a, an early warning sign of uh, profit taking maybe starting. Let's take a look at T2122. And this, uh, again, um, over and over and over, I say this, um, is my biggest concern here in the market. We are pegged up here, um, and I can't remember a time um, even during the 2017 massive rally that we had, that we were up here like this and stayed up here consistently and continuing to gap higher. So that does have me concerned and um, making me want to be just a little bit cautious about adding new positions and being a little bit careful about how I um, extending myself too long the market um, in case that stumbling uh, block does come into play at any time and like I say I could be absolutely wrong here um, that's my cautiousness it doesn't have to be your cautiousness uh, just a little bit of concern out there that we're um, just a little bit overly happy um, in the market at the moment considering uh, the things that are still out there uh, that could trip us up let's take a look at um, that economic calendar today Economic calendar, if we take a look, we have some big stuff on the economic calendar today. Obviously, the, the weekly jobless claims, that's a normal one. Um, uh, PPI, kind of a big one that can move us around. And really, the biggest one is this late um, retail sales report. It, the number was late because of the government shutdowns. So we'll have to see how those retail sales are doing. All of those happening just before the market opens. So kind of keep in, my, in mind the market could still move around considerably um, on those um, news events. And then we have business inventories and natural gas report. Don't expect that to move the market much at all. We do have a Fed speaker here at 11 o'clock and then just, you know, bond auctions and announcements, Fed balance sheet and money supply here at the end of the day. So most of the most of that reporting that we have to think about is what happens first thing this morning on uh, I think on that retail will be the biggest number to pay attention to. Had about over 120 companies, um, excuse me, over 220 companies reporting earnings today, and those earnings um, are coming out fast and furious this morning. So we'll want to keep an eye on it. Keep in mind we have um, earnings reports from um, Nvidia. 
um, this afternoon. So you'll want to keep an eye on that. That's a big tech bell weather for the market. We'll want to watch that pretty closely. And um, um, just kind of stay focused on um, the price action in case we start seeing any kind of concern, any kind of issues where the market might turn around and, and roll over for any reason. I just, I, I personally have a little concern about um, how stretched we are in the market. And I hope, I honestly hope that I'm wrong. And I hope that the, the bulls are um, absolutely right that the trade negotiations are going to come out very, very good. But I'm not willing to bet a whole lot of my capital on that. And um, so that's why I'm being a little bit extra cautious. Let's Let's take a quick look here at a couple of stocks that might be um, of interest to you um, that are moving around pretty well. And by the way, if this is the first time you've um, seen these videos, please do me a favor. Click that subscribe button on YouTube, follow me button on Facebook, click those thumbs up buttons and leave a comment. Those help me out so much, guys. And I got to tell you, I'm so humbled by uh, the kind comments and things uh, that you folks are putting out there. Oh, of course, there's always some folks out there wanting to cause trouble and and uh, that kind of thing but the majority vast majority of folks out there um, are doing um, you know saying such nice complimentary things I also want to say congratulations to uh, members of right way options hit run candlesticks there was just a, a, a massive amount of profit taking yesterday um, uh, from you folks and it was just exciting to see um, all the all the stocks, all the things that we had talked about and so many trades that folks had um, been able to profit from. So congratulations to you guys. Well done for um, ha following a set of rules and doing a great job. Kudos to you. Um, it's, one of, it, it's one of the things that just uh, makes me so happy to see when I see folks making money um, in the market. So congratulations. So let's take a look here real quick and a couple of charts you, you guys know i have t tons and tons of charts that um, i have alerted on and watching them closely and um just a few charts that um, you might want to pay attention to. Some of those um, happen to be in the oil sector. Oil kind of picking up here a little bit. We can see PSX with a bit of a inverted head and shoulders pattern starting to show itself here and a nice bullish move here yesterday. So we have this new little trend starting to begin as those oil sector stocks are picking up just a little bit. Might want to keep an eye on um, that chart. Um, once again, I mentioned AKS yesterday. I still think AKS is setting up for a pretty good trade and one that you might want to put on um, your watch list and kind of keep an eye on that. Um, we'll want to take um, a close look at um, like the marijuana stocks. Um, their um, CGC is reporting earnings today. And we'll want to keep an eye on that because a lot of these stocks are um, perking up and looking good. And honestly, I kind of like um, the chart Crone, C-R-O-N. Nice little rising pattern here, a little consolidating move um, in this chart. And if that were to pop out, um, it could get some energy um, out of that uh, CGC earnings report, or um, we could see that failure as well. So watch that close. Um, STZ, STZ um, reporting today, um, and that's still looking like a pretty good chart. So you might want to keep an eye on STZ. So everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great profits. And if, um, if you're struggling as a trader, um, Please understand that um, even the best traders in the world go through periods of struggle and particularly when they're learning to trade the market, go through long, long, very frustrating, uh, struggling times. So don't give up. The last thing you want to do is give up on your dream of um, being a full-time trader or whatever that dream is for you and, and really buckle down and study hard because it is worth it. Trust me on that. And um, I wish you all the very, very best. If there's anything we could ever do to help, please let us know. Take care of yourselves. Have a great day. We'll talk to you all bright and early Friday morning. Have a good one.